Hi, I'm Chef Nancy Stark. We're here at the Merck, and I'm going to show you how to cut up onions and garlic. As always, you want to try to translate your round vegetables into flat vegetables whenever possible. So you cut off the ends and then cut a little door in the side and remove the outer skin. Now you cut your onion in half and now instead of having a rolling around on the cutting board onion, now I have two flat onions that stay in place. So for most recipes what you want to do is cut your onion into dice. And so the way I do it, this is an unorthodox method. This is not what you'd be taught in culinary school, but I do things the way that work for me. I cut it into slices, keeping the onion all together in one piece, and then you lay it over a little bit so that the slices are flattened. You just cut that stack of slices into little cubes. Now, with that same half of an onion, if you want to have slices to put on top of a salad or use for garnishing or something like that, I just cut my onion into little skinny slices so now I have a nice little pile of sliced onion. Now for the garlic, just whack it a little bit with your chef's knife like that, and that removes and loosens up the skin. If you'd like to just cut it into skinny little slices, which I do a lot of the time, if I want to put fresh garlic into something like a pasta sauce, sometimes I like it to be in slices because then you can see it and it lends a textural contrast. Or you can take those slices and cut them further into a little bitty julienne. But most of the time what people want with their garlic is for it to be crushed or pureed. Just take your garlic and crush it a little bit and put a pinch of salt onto it because that helps to draw the water out of the garlic and make it more juicy. And then when it's reasonably finely chopped, then just take the side of your chef's knife and start to smash it. And pretty soon I have a puree of garlic. Learn more about our classes by visiting us at our website, themerk.coop.